guys, happy Friday, how's it going? Cheers to you. I'm a little off my normal uh, schedule today. As you can see, I don't normally, and I'll get to this in a minute, um, I don't normally, I'm usually talking to you guys, sorry, activity out there, I'm usually talking to you guys uh, right after my morning cardio, and as you can see, I'm not sweaty, but I am in semi-workout clothes. So here's the deal. Um, just got back from a trip last night, and uh, we got back late last night. And then um, I ripped my nails off because I'm getting a new set today. This is why I wear nails, people. Of course, it was kind of interesting. <laughs> I had somebody, I'm not quite sure what he was, he was a cartoon character that was leaving comments on my vlogs the other day, basically saying that I am a porn star because I have long nails. Apparently all women that get their nails done are porn stars. So, hey, why don't you guys check out that other channel I have going on and give me a tip. <laughs> so, there's also, I'm not even lying, there's a, uh, it's kind of scary, do you see, I don't know if you can even see this. I've been out of town and then I get home and there's spider webs in my house. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Anyway, so we got home late last night. Um, I got up this morning and I thought that my first call, I don't normally schedule calls in the morning. It's most effective for me to have my mornings open. I do my workouts, then I start, you know, checking everything I need to do, and then I schedule all my meetings and my calls in the afternoon. Um, but I had scheduled a call that I needed to do, and I thought it was at 10 a.m. Central Time, but it was actually at 9 a.m. So I, I actually fell asleep on my couch last night. I don't know what I was watching. <sighs> Yesterday's a blur. Fell asleep on my couch, woke up, and I'm like, oh, I have till 10. So I went and got my workout clothes on, and then I looked at my schedule and I'm like, oh, calls at nine. Which, it, the only reason it put me into this like conundrum is that, you know, I, I knew I didn't have enough time to work out before the call. And then my next call, I'm trying to think, I'm getting, I'm gonna shoot this video basically and I'm gonna go work out, which is odd. But basically I did my call and I've just been having my coffee. So now I'm getting ready to put my Genetics HD into a cup, shake it up and do my workout. But before that, is this the best song? This is a song, oh, I need to text him, um, from Corey that they played in one of the last hot yoga uh, classes I went to. And he, this is kind of at the end, hold on. I have to focus. So over iPhone 5, so over this, you have no idea. No battery life. No battery life, no battery life. I'm ready to like go iPhone-less. I'm so over it, it's just, and I even have the Mophie for it. So I spent, you know, a hundred plus dollars on a Mophie that basically means I'm always out of battery power. I hate it. Um, so I really wanna update you guys. So much to talk about, and the reason I wasn't able to shoot videos this week, you know, I think my last video went up before I left, literally like from the second we, hold on. Hey, I'm, dude, I answered the phone, but I'm shooting my vlog. Can I, uh, can we talk later today? I'm home for, for several weeks, so we're going to get to, to meet. I was just talking about you in my video. I'm actually shooting my vlog, and I'm actually, was just telling about that song. That, what's that, that song, Hot Like Sauce or something? Yeah. Okay, so we'll um, talk later. My last call's over at three. Goodbye. Sorry about that. Um, from the second we landed, we left Tuesday until last night. It has been just nonstop. So we were out in Baltimore, hanging out with uh, our folks at Under Armour, who are awesome. And as such, I'm gonna show you some things that you should be aware of. There's a lot of stuff I didn't even know that Under Armour had and um, is pretty awesome. Furthermore, let me show you another thing that arrived that I'm super, super psyched about. Hold on. Um, I'm actually gonna open this box, live unveiling while we're talking, and then I'll show you this other stuff. But, where's my knife? Muscle ropes. So this is a new client of Fitfluential, so they were kind enough to send me this, and I will be, I'm so, excited about this and I don't even know which they have several options so if you go to muscle ropes their website 
so cool. Muscle ropes. Uh, MuscleRopes.com, obviously. But it says, please consult your doctor. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Heavy, thick ropes for it. This is so cool. I can't tell if this is all, and I'm not going to take it out because it's so neatly put in here. Can you see? Ugh. Big, heavy ropes to play with at home. I don't know if this is one or two. I can't tell, but I will take pictures later. This is what happens if you mess with me. I'm going to mess you up. You think I can't? Actually, this, so I'll do a separate video about this after I've taken this out, but I definitely think you all should go check out Muscle Ropes because um, if you've ever done any kind of boot camp or workout with where the guys, the trainer has you use the big heavy ropes, and obviously there's ropes of varying thickness and heaviness, you know, um, but they're, it's, it's a killer, killer workout. I mean, if you've ever done that, um, where you're using two and it always looks easier and then you get it and you're like, holy cow. And they tell you to go wider, go shorter. It's awesome. Um, one of the things that happened when we got out to uh, Baltimore on Tuesday, <clears throat> excuse me, six minutes already? We got out to Baltimore on Tuesday and Jamie had said, oh yeah, I've got a workout set up for you and Dave. And I'm like, okay, cool, you know. So we changed and we go out on their, uh, this big outdoor space that they have. It's like set up with turf and, you know, 15 yard line, 20 yard line, 25 yard line, etc. <laughs> it's not that I thought it was gonna be easy, but Chris comes out and he was our, he was our trainer. And he, just suffice it to say, he had designed a circuit and he said to Dave and I, he's like, we're going to do this. And then Tori was out there with us too. He's like, you're going to do this for 20 minutes nonstop. And I'm like, okay, I can do it. You know, and I'm seeing like a rowing machine and I'm seeing, so rowing machine, they had kettlebells. We didn't have ropes there. Rowing machine, kettlebells, the TRX. Uh, I don't know what the new, what it's called, the new TRX. It's like a stick at the end of a rope. Um, and then we had to do some running. Oh, and then there was the, uh, the sled which basically made me its bitch. But all I'm gonna say is, what is underneath this? Sorry, I'm having some clothing, wardrobe issues. I'm not used to, I'm not used to doing a vlog and, and having a jacket on, so it's, it's, it's making me verklempt. Um, so we, we did this uh, workout and they had three of us rotating through this circuit and you just had to keep going and going. I literally had I just got my ass handed to me. That's all there, there is to it. My, I, I mean, when I say you're, and I was surprised because my heart rate, I think was like 155, maybe 160, I have to ask him. But I was like literally begging for mercy. Like, I've got to stop. And he's like, go, 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 go. And I'm getting on the row machine. He's like, go, 100 meters, go over there. Go to the sled, go up there. And every time I'm trying to like stop and, and kind of get my breath and go, <gasps> he's like, Kelly, wait, where are you at? Kelly, where are you at? Come on. And I'm like, oh my God. I want to go into this restroom over there and just die. It was amazing. It was seriously the most intense workout I've done in a while. It kind of made me feel like, wow, here everything I've been doing lately, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm so badass. And then I did that and I'm like, wow, my badass meter went from here to here. But not only that, it made me raise the, raise the standards. So now the standards for my workouts have been raised. It's time to take it up a notch. Now, that said, I have so many goodies here to show you. I don't even know where to start. But I was just in heaven um, seeing a lot of the cool stuff that I didn't even know they had. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of this stuff really quickly. I'm at nine minutes. Headbands, non-stick, non-movie. These are thicker headbands, and then these are the thinner headbands. Now, I tend in the past, and I kind of realized why, I tend to not wear the thin headbands like this because they have bangs. And for those of you that have bangs, you know that if you put like a small headband on, you've got on the front that top part of the bangs um, that doesn't uh, lay down. But I'm kind of over that. Sometimes I put a thick headband over it, but these are the ones, not the cloth ones. These are the kind that won't move, right, on your head. So if you're in hot yoga or you're running, you don't want, or unless you're wearing a hat, you don't want um, your headbands moving. Now, this is just a side note. Some of their gym bags um, are 
not only these killer bright colors, and it's going to be a little hard for me to show you, but so this is the new, I think I have this in black, um, but I love the, this is like the women's gym bag. Can you see it? Pockets on the outside, um, and then it opens up this way, and then of course on the inside, hold on, on the inside you have this little pouch, which can be for your wet, sweaty clothes, and then for makeup and stuff. So I like that. It thought it out, and I just love the color. So bag number one, bag number two, more traditional um, duffel bag kind of look. I showed you the headbands, and I will show you more of the stuff in detail later. Here's the thing, I have no idea. Here I am, I told you guys, I've been wearing Under Armour sports bras forever, and they're the best sports bras on the planet, and the only ones I will buy. I had no idea they had underwear too. And they're these um, kind of like, I don't know how to say, I took pictures, I'm gonna put up a lot of pictures later. But they're the kinds that, you know, no lines, let me show you an example, no lines, to be able to wear, so you know, you don't want to wear like your Victoria's Secret stuff underneath your, um, you see this? So you got one seam here, but the rest of this is this kind of stretchy fabric, so you can be wearing this under your um, workout clothes and you're not going to have like lace or really bumpiness underneath. I had no idea they made um, both men's and women's underwear, panties if you will, whatever you want to call them. I wouldn't call these panties. It's just me. Um, I have always loved their jackets <laughs> because of the way they fit and of course they have the keyholes. Now I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this as much, but this fabric is like a denim fabric. So they have this in like a bright purple too. Keyholes, zippers, I will wear these and take pictures of them as well. Um, real stretchy, but it's like a denim, a thick denim, um, which is adorbs. Um, there's that. This is the, the one I already had, so I won't put that on. That's the jacket that I already had. Um, oh, here's the thing. I am now, haven't I told you guys? I worked out in them when I got there on Tuesday. I'm really into capris now for my pants. And I was a little paranoid, because you guys know, like, the area of my body where I still need to lose the rest of my weight is in my core. So I didn't want to put on any, you know, pants that had tight a tight... Um, what's it called, tight waistband um, around my middle because I'm like, oh, what if it makes me have a little muffin top, blah, blah, blah. But they have, so many of these have the wide waistbands. And you know, I did put a pair of capris on. First of all, the fit is amazing. I looked at myself in the mirror, I'm like, damn girl. Of course, it did make a little muffin top up top, but that just made me say, okay, I'm gonna kick ass on my diet now and get rid of it. But these are the other ones. Can you see this waistband? See how it's very thick? The other one, it's in the wash, so I can't show you that one, but the other one had a thinner, a little bit more of a tighter waistband around the middle, um, but overall, you know, you're still seeing, um, and this is, these are capris, can you see? Very, very comfortable, and I love where they hit. I love where they hit on, um, so they're below, they're below your knee, and then there's just maybe about that much that goes down over your calves. And for me, they fit just right. I have very muscular calves and very small ankles, so I'm proportionally cool there. But um, I don't like when capris are made and they're very loose and then you kind of just look messed up. Um, they have a lot of these new shirts. I mean, all their fabrics are really, really soft. Um, you guys know I don't tend to wear things with sleeves as much, but this fabric is so thin. Can you see it? I don't even know if you can see that it's almost like see-through. I would wear this with like, um, maybe over a tank or just a sports bra under it, but really soft and I'm not going through any of the features of the stuff, I'm just showing you the looks. Sweatshirts, they have these in all kinds of colors with the, the mesh, so you've got some breathability. Different colors, like I think they had one of these in like a purple and a pink too, um, but this is more sweatshirt type. Um, does it have the keyholes? Not on this one it looks like. Okay, so this one doesn't have the finger holes, but cute, cute sweatshirt hoodie. Um, two new running shoes. I believe these are running shoes. I have to, I have to check. And it's funny because we were in some sessions learning about the new running shoes they've developed. So I hope I'm not misspeaking. Um, but these are their new micro. These are on the bottom. The new micro. We met with all of their shoe developers. It was pretty um, amazing. And then this is another version. As you can see, one of the things we learned was 
you know, how these, the, the bottoms of shoes are not just designed for how they look, they're for how they function. So when something has, you know, this cushion here versus what this is more flat, there's a reason for that. And then there's um, benefits for the types of running that you're doing. Doesn't that kind of look like your um, skeleton, like your bones and your feet? Very cool. I still opposite, I, I love the spines, the Under Armour spines. Um, I'm closing in on 15 minutes, I gotta shut up. Of course, really love these tops. This is the new one. See, so it's a regular top, but then in the back, it's got this cutout. Really cool, right? And that goes with the um, with the jacket that I have. Of course, I'm learning to kind of get over my idea that everything has to match. Like Jamie was telling me, I, w I bought these, um, these purple, hold on, I'm getting to it. I bought these purple capris, and I was all like, where's the purple top to go with it? And she's like, you need to get over that. So see this? It's, wow, that looks blue on film. These are purple. You guys, this, honestly, you can't, wow. I, hope, I don't know how this is gonna turn out when I publish this video, but these are purple, and as I'm showing you in here, it looks blue. Anyway, here's what I love. Look at this, zipper in the back for your, uh, for your iPod or for your whatever, and they're capris. But I'm realizing, like, I don't have to have a purple matching top with this. I could wear blue. I could wear, this is uh, the blue version. You guys have seen me wear the kind of pink version of this top on my videos before, um, which I really like. It's just long enough, it's fitted. Um, here, you guys know I'm a huge fan of their sports bras. That's all I wear. This is slightly different than the one I wear, and this is smaller, because my boobs have gotten smaller. Um, but they have the best bras on the market. Um, I also bought this, which is just a real soft, another version of their jacket. All of the jackets, you know, you can do like this. This is Under Armour too. This is more of a summer thing. You can zip up the turtleneck. Um, and then this one also has the keyhole, the finger hole, and then zippers on the side. I'm not getting too detailed, but you know, this, this is the sleeve and then underneath and you just got a lot of flexibility and it's very, very soft. And of course the fit is amazing. Um, we have, I gotta wrap this up because I need to go work out. Lots of hats. Now I will tell you guys, because I wore one of the other Under Armour hats, these real light ones, it's not my preference. Wait, this looks a little different. Remember I had that, the one Under Armour hat and I said that like I prefer a more traditional um, baseball hat style like this. I, I don't I don't know if it's just the top. Sometimes I have weird preferences. Um, this is more of a cloth kind and again a little bit more of a square shape. This was the one. So I have this version of the hat in like a, a pink and black and for some reason, remember I think I did a video and I was like I didn't I wasn't as comfortable with it. I like a more traditional baseball hat and I wear them all the time to work out in. Um, this is a brand new nice baggy very cute doesn't necessarily just have to be for the gym and what do we have in here oh these are the thick headbands I'm pleased with these I didn't even know why those were in there um, oh look here's more thick headbands Jamie you hooked me up um, so you've got all kinds of headbands to please whatever your pleasure is in the headband world Ooh, these are even more thick we're just getting thicker and thicker thick, thick, all kinds of happy headbands. We realize how much us girls like headbands and need headbands. It's all about, oh, wow. I honestly didn't even see these in here, but should, they knew that I was talking about needing headbands. So there's all kinds of, um, ooh, hello, this has got to be my favorite one. Look how big that is. For, for girls with bangs, that's why it's bigger, and that's why you, you need that. Um, here's, oh, hello, hello. So see, it's thinner in the back. Um, obviously, there's just a lot more headbands in here. I'll take pictures of those later. I'm trying to make sure I show you highlights and everything else. And then, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. Damn, I'm at 20 minutes with this. Under Armour 39, here's the thing. I wanna tell you that they had sent me the Under Armour 39 and I had tried it at home. I didn't follow directions, so I thought it didn't work. And I told Amy, I'm like, I gotta tell you, we're gonna have to show me how to use this because it's not working. The thing is, and I'll do a separate video on this, Armor 39 comes with 
the ability to track it's it's a heart rate monitor that tracks more than heart rate and I'll get to that separately but you can watch your results on your watch that it comes with or on your iPhone they'll have it out for other phones on the other systems later but right now it's just on iPhone problem is is I was trying to get it to work with both simultaneously <laughs> it doesn't work that way you use one or the other so I was in there trying to do a workout going what the heck and when I went out there and we did the workout Corey excuse me not Corey Tori and Chris showed us how to use it and furthermore told me a little bit more about science behind it and what it measures and I have to tell you, when I do a different vlog, I'll do a different vlog on this, I am so much more amazed at why this is different um, and why it's different for a heart rate monitor in general. And I'm also just glad that I, I was an idiot and it was me that was the reason why it wasn't working because I was really bummed. I thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to tell everybody about it because I can't get it to work. Well, it was my problem. So that said, I'm going to shut up. I gave you my preview of muscle ropes and awesome, awesome Under Armour stuff, which is just the very tip of the iceberg. Um, we'll have more stuff coming, but I've got to go get my sweat on because I've got another call in an hour. It's time to take my Genetics HD and get my sweat on. And I'm going to go lift later on this evening and um, yoga tonight because I haven't done yoga in two nights. And my body's like, hello. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.